Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. His new book is A Republic Under Assault, The Left's Ongoing Attack on American Freedom. It's available for pre-order now, and it is good to have you with us. Uh, good that to see you, Tom. Let's Thank start you. with Philadelphia. It's, it's a city out of control. It is a city uh, that is massively politically corrupt. There is nothing that really can be done unless the Justice Department decides to intervene. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, we're, uh, you know, the trains left the station on all this abuse in many ways. The ballots are being mailed out, uh, the early voting's uh, uh, taking place, uh, and they're trying to keep uh, uh, any, any outside supervision or, or monitoring away. Uh, you know, why would they do that other than perhaps they don't want people seeing what they're really up to? You know, we're, we're in litigation in Pennsylvania to try to clean up their rolls, Lou. And they just told the court in our litigation, um, essentially, they have no idea how many dirty names are on the rolls. You had the state tell the court one number. You had the counties tell I'm the sorry, court I'm sorry, who another. doesn't know? The, st the state. <laughs> the state has no idea. They're giving conflicting numbers. And they I admitted see. they told the federal government earlier that the numbers they had, the, the numbers mm -hmm. they gave earlier were wrong. So it's, it's, it's a nightmare scenario well, I, in the sense that we've got these dirty voting rolls and there's no good way, as you point out, because the Justice Department is AWOL, of making sure that uh, everyone who's voting is eligible to vote. No voter ID in Pennsylvania, so what either, is, by the way. What should the American people expect, Tom? What should they expect on November 3rd? Because the Justice Department is not intervening. The Justice Department is not in any way assuring electoral integrity. I have heard nothing from the Homeland Security Department uh, about what they are doing to assure the uh, integrity of voting machines uh, across the country and to prevent foreign. What is really hilarious about this is the concern on the part of the left about Russian and Chinese and Iranian influence in these elections. They're worried about that kind of meddling. When the meddling we should be worried about is that of the left and the radical Dems. Uh, they are out of control. They've made it clear what they're going to do. Uh, by the way, nothing short of burning down cities uh, if the vote doesn't go their way. What are we dealing with and why is it that the Justice Department has neither the principle nor the courage to defend the Constitution uh, and, and protect the vote? Well, the Justice Department is uh, largely run by left-wing partisan Democrats, and there's a few appointees of President Trump, and uh, obviously they're, they're riding a tiger over there, and they're unable to do anything effective in this area of the law. I'm concerned there'll be chaos uh, about the results of the election because, as you know, the left plans to be counting votes weeks after uh, Election Day. The left also plans, uh, with the help of big tech, to suppress and censor concerns about voter fraud mm -hmm. and this uh, election without end that the left plans in order, in my view, uh, to guarantee a result. Uh, and, I might, and, and, and if you read the New York Times, if you read their planning documents, they're planning violence. They're planning to threaten secession from the union in order to get uh, their electoral college slate seated. They're planning to push it to Congress, and if necessary, Evident, according to the law, even Nancy Pelosi's talking about this now, uh, that uh, if, if there's no so settled, why is it no settled president by January 20th, Lou, Nancy Pelosi, in theory, becomes acting president. Uh, the, the, the more proximate uh, fear for me is that the Justice Department, uh, the White House itself, uh, are seemingly paralyzed uh, in, in action to stop what we are being told by the left themselves they will do. At what point does this rise to the level of insurrection? Uh, at what point does the Justice Department have to, uh, have to stand up for, for the United States instead of a, a party, namely the party of hate? Well, I mean, in the least, Lou, I hope they're thinking about uh, violence and intimidation around Election Day and shortly thereafter. Are places where votes are going to be counted, are they secure? What if Antifa targets them? Uh, why is it we think that the left-wing communist insurrection that's ongoing now in several cities 
is going to stop on Election Day or won't dramatically increase after Election Day, especially if it looks like the results are good for President Trump. Uh, these are dangerous times we're in, and I don't want this to happen, but the left has been talking about it happening. And uh, when, you, when I see it talked about in the New York Times, I think our ears ought to be uh, pricked up as a result. Tom Fenton, Judicial Watch. Thanks for being with us, Tom.